Are you a nursing student that wants to cut your study time but over 60%? Well, you can head over to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube and sign up for free. Next up, we have muscle relaxers. So dantrolene, cyclobenzaprine, carisprodol, and baclofen. Now, all these drugs relax the muscles, but they do it in a different way, which we'll discuss in a moment. So the big three test tips is that all these drugs can cause sedation or drowsiness, which is to be expected and completely normal. So the key point is we do not stop taking these drugs if the client reports dizziness upon changing positions, which is to be expected. And we educate clients to have no alcohol and we do not stop or abruptly stop this medication. Since alcohol with these drugs can cause a synergistic effect, basically worsening that sedation, and we never stop abruptly, which can cause a rebound effect. Now, the first muscle relaxer is dantrolene, given mainly for muscle spasticity, like spinal cord injuries, cerebral palsy, MS, and even stroke clients. Now, the mechanism of action is that it acts directly on the muscles to prevent the release of calcium, which in result reduces or weakens the force of contraction. So the memory trick we use is calcium contracts the muscles. So with less calcium, we get less contraction. Or you can think that calcium is hard like the bones. So less calcium, we get less hard muscles. Now the big side effect and the key points to write down is liver toxicity and sedation and drowsiness. So for exams, don't get tricked. We report the liver toxicity like elevated liver labs and even jaundice, that yellow skin. And we do not give to liver diseased clients like those in cirrhosis or even hepatitis. And lastly, there's no need to report sedation and drowsiness since these are normal side effects and to be expected. We just teach a patient to be safe here. So Kaplan says dantrolene is a muscle relaxant. And Hesse says dantrolene is contraindicated with MS and cirrhosis. The key word here is cirrhosis. Just think scarrhosis. We have a scarred liver. Now, next up is the muscle relaxer cyclobenzaprine and carisprodol, given to reduce muscle spasticity or Thanks for watching today's video. Remember to type simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube into your search bar and join well over 1 million students hacking their nursing school system.